All right, so the next project on my list here, I had picked up a few chainsaws uh, from a guy, and they looked really, really bad. I, I already uh, power washed them down, but they were just coated with junk, and it looks like they've been sitting for many, many years, but uh, let's take a look. So, you can see this one's a Poland uh, 2750 uh, farmhand and a Poland wild thing and this one down here sorry I'm casting shadows everywhere there's a Poland Pro a 210 and remember this is uh, this is after I power washed them so you know I haven't tried to do anything with them yet but I think the first thing I'm going to do just make sure they're not seized up or anything and uh, I might just check the compression on all three just before I even get started you know uh, and see if any of these were are salvageable so let's check the compression before I start working on them I want to make sure this one I'm pulling it and yeah I, you know I can kind of feel it um, but it has been so dry too that I'm going to take the spark plug off and get a little oil in there Check the compression. I'm going to get it down here where I have some leverage. that much only about 50 this one looks like it has a compression release on it maybe not Doesn't smell that bad, actually. There's no primer bulb on it. Okay, I'll definitely work on that. It looks like it just needs a, uh, a carburetor cleaning on it, and, uh, and that's about it. I might treat for some rust over here, but uh, at least it had compression. And next is this one. Yeah, see that one's just feel anything on that. Oh, no spark plug. That's why there's no compression. So, 
Let me see if I've got one. Yeah, the bulb is split, but let's see if there's compression. Pull it. Got about 60 or 70. About the same as the other one. Alright. Alright, got the cover off. Covered in sawdust. I'm gonna clean some of this out before I. this one feel like. Well that one definitely has compression. I can feel it. So I was surprised three out of three I think we can work on. So uh a good sign we have three that we can work on I was expecting you know I was expecting the worst tell you the truth because this is this is after I power washed them remember so uh, they looked in pretty bad shape but uh, I think we can fix them all so I guess I'll start with this one The one that cranked over for sure. I think all it needs is a good cleaning, and uh, and I'll check the fuel lines. I'm just going to do the the usual. I think the carburetor needs cleaning, and well, actually, the fuel lines look pretty good, and the filter looked brand new. Uh, yeah, so I'll just clean it out, give it a good adjustment, and. And you'll see where it goes there. But I also noticed when it was uh, even at low RPMs, of course, it didn't go down to idle. Um, it revved pretty high, but the chain was turning regardless, right? So I'm going to take the cover off and check everything under there, make sure that. Uh, yeah, this little. Doesn't seem like it's doing anything. So let's give it a good cleaning first. All right, so I've been cleaning this one off a little bit. It's getting a little better. And I took the cover off here and I'm spraying it down. It was pretty caked in there. But the biggest thing, you know, I could tell that little safety, that kickback safety on it, didn't seem to be doing anything. And sure enough, if you look at the little band right here, it's just worn off. This piece is about to pop off. But that little ring that goes all the way around um, and stops the clutch there, it's it's a goner. So um, I'll take a look and see what it takes to fix that. 
and it's a safety measure it'll work without it but I'd much rather have them on there and because a lot of times you just have to buy the whole assembly like this but uh, hopefully I can just get the ring you know just take this apart and put the that little metal ring back in there and it'll be ready to go so um, I'll just give it a good cleaning and we'll go from there so that was my uh, my yard find a guy just put him out on the street um, all three of them there was a couple more that really looked bad I did not get those but these three you know I had to power wash the hell out of them but uh, but it looks like they're fixable so I'm just gonna like I said do the usual I'm gonna clean the carburetors and uh, they should be up and running um, but other than that I can direct you towards especially with this pool and pro I think I have another video of uh, the carburetor cleaning and the fuel lines and all that stuff one's a pool and uh, they have a, a couple of Polins and a couple of Husqvarna's that, uh, that I did and I can direct you toward those and I guess I'm just going to call it quits on this and just uh, just to show you what you can find out there just do some initial testing check for compression um, that's the first thing I do and uh, then from there you can kind of troubleshoot and find out what what needs to be done one of them needed a spark plug um, I think one of them the chain was pretty dull but just have to sharpen it and the other two just uh, uh, just clean the carbs but if I run into something unusual uh, while I'm doing this then um, then I'll cut in with a new video but other than that I guess that's it uh, Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video.